to welcome. Well, that sucks. Uh, I'm just gonna do it like this. CGI guys, my name is John White, and welcome to this new Blender tutorial where we're today gonna create this cool simple explosion. Okay, so let's open up Blender, and this time I won't forget to press display my key so you can see what I'm doing right there. The first thing what we're going to do is we're going to delete everything in our scene. We're going to press Shift A, and we're going to summon our nice little sphere. Then you go to the Modifier tab and apply a Displace. Press New, go to the Texture tab, select our Displace texture, and we're going to select clouds. Under the colors, we're going to set the contrast to 2, 2, 2. And we're going to set the strength to 0 0.3. Then we're going to press Shift A again. And get an empty. Going to go back to our sphere. Going to select object. And we're going to select our empty. So now, this displacement is uh, controlled by the empty. So as you can see, it moves with the empty. Also, the scale works, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna give this a subdivide really quick, so we have a little bit more detail. I'm gonna scale this up like that. And the fun thing now is, if it moves, it looks like smoke is rising. So that's pretty cool. Uh, one thing I'm gonna do, just to make it a little bit more realistic, is gonna turn on proportional editing with O and I'm gonna make a little middle gap here like so uh, that's a little bit too much like that, that's cool okay then yes then what we're gonna do then is gonna pr press spacebar and type in quick smoke so now as you play it back, we have already smoke. So that's that's good. Okay, uh, time to animate it. Go to your frame 10. And set this to lot rot scale. Then we're going to scale this guy down. going to press I. Move one frame forward. Scale it up. Like that. Press I again. And then zoom a little bit out. And get it out of that smoke domain. Press I. And the same goes for frame 9. You should get out. Press I. So now we have this. Oh, uh, don't forget to start. Oh, go away. Don't forget to start at 1. Okay. Now, in the with the smoke domain selected, we go to the physics tab and we're going to set this density to 0 0.05 and the temp difference to 0 0.025 okay and what will happen is that uh, the smoke won't rise it will be like this and that's far more realistic and a nice thing about it we can now scale the uh, smoke domain down as well, so we can use more detail because it won't. So uh, because it's not that big anymore. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, that's good. I'm also gonna dissolve it in, in uh, 100 frames like that. So let's see. It will slowly dissolve. Yeah, that's good. Okay, nice. Uh, I'm gonna save it. Uh, oh, I'm gonna save it, and um, let's go to the next step. So let's move on and create the fire. So what we're gonna do is, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, rename this sphere smoke, and we're gonna uh, shift D it. And we're gonna let's see, give her a little bit more space. Yes, thank you. Re rename this one and say fire, like that. Okay, nice. Um, 
let's go to the frames we need it for. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to press sh Shift S, cursor to select it. And we're going to add in a force field, a smoke flow. Going to make this a plane. And domain object, we should be a smoke domain, apply density. And yeah, that's it. Okay, I'm going to crank this up. And then, with our fire selected, we're going to make this a particle system. And we're going to create a particle system. Okay, now pay attention. What you need to do is you need to set this to 10, this to 12. This should be something like 8, and then the randomness at 100%. This should be volume, this should be random, and unselect this random. Um, the number of particles should be as high as possible for your computer to run. I can do more, but it's fine for now. And um, the normal should go on 0, .0. I said always oh, no. I'm Dutch, I'm sorry. Um, um, to uh, zero dot one, I have to think. Uh, the same goes for random right here. Uh, then we go to the force weight fields, and we're gonna turn the gravity almost all the way down. And now I'm gonna hide or um, smoke domain really quickly. You saw that? Ah, oh, that's good. That's what we want. So as you can see, you have whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, okay. Um, there is something wrong. But what is... Oh, oh, I see. No, this should be uh, 11. I forgot. So... Yeah, that's better. That's better. Okay. Uh, I think this can be 10. That, that sh that's good. That's fine. Yeah, that's great. And... Um, why I'm using particles is because if you use a mesh object for your fire, um, the the fire will not be detailed. Now, um, I'm going to select a particle system and make this fire. Oh, fire. Pure fire. Let's take a look at it. Oh, don't forget to unhide your fire uh, uh, smoke domain. And as you can see, that is pretty good. That is far more explosion than I've seen uh, at the internet um, before. Okay, um, we're gonna set our size here to three or to three, 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 and we're gonna set this to five. Maybe I'm gonna look at it. Yeah, that's better. I'm gonna set it to five. That's just that's just perfect. Oh, I forgot to. Um, then we're gonna say higher. Oh, I'm gonna do something else. I'm gonna set this subframe to both. So you select your fire. You set the subframe to 1, and the same goes for you select your smoke, and you do also a subframe. So that's just uh, far more detail. Then we're going to set the divisions to um, how this number, because um, I don't forgot how to pronounce it. <laughs> oh, I'm so sucking at English. Anyways, then you're going to set high um, smoke high resolution, and you can set this all the way to 10. So it the fire is more distorted. So now it looks like this. Whoa, why is it not moving? Oh, that was slow. Yeah, that's an explosion. I can call an explosion. So that's pretty cool. Now let's go into our nice um, uh, material. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press 1, numpad 1. And I'm going to add in a camera. Well, that's that's weird. Okay, and I'm gonna set it in f in front of our explosion. I'm sorry, like that. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna turn off Pro Lightning Skies. Uh, turn it off. Yes, thank you. Okay. So as you can see, there is no fire because we need to make it. We need to make the fire. So let's select our domain. And um, I'm going to press shift space to get full screen of it. And what we're going to do is I'm going to shift D this density, this attribute. And I'm going to 
type in flame. Ho, 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 no, no capital letters, flame, just flame, like that. Stare at it exactly like this, okay? <laughs> Good. <laughs> then we're gonna press Shift A, gonna get a color ramp, color ramp, Shift A again, and get an emission. Nice. Then we're gonna set the color in that and the color in that, like, okay. Then I'm gonna add some of these guys, and I'm gonna set this, whoa, 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 yeah, nice, to a slightly yellow, and I'm gonna set this one to a little bit orange. This one should be very orangey, like almost red. And this one should be like dark red, or not too dark, like that. Okay, now there is fire. <laughs> so that's pretty good, that works. But before we're gonna do that, I'm just gonna s get this out, and I'm gonna really look at the fire alone. Because you want to have detail. It doesn't have to good look very good, you want to have detail. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just play around with this a little bit. I'm just gonna tweak it a little bit like that. And yeah, that's that's good. That's a good explosion. Uh let's bake it. Yes. Let's bake it. Let's bake it. Uh uh let's bake it. Oh I'm sorry. I should, uh, okay. Uh yeah, let's bake it. I'll see you in a in a second. Look how fast it goes. Nice. I'll see you in a second. So, um, I baked it, and it looks like this now. And uh, what we're going to do now is we're just going to um, add one more thing to our material, and that's Shift-A, A, Brightness Contrast. I'm going to set this to 4, like that. Just to get a little bit of contrast in the smoke. Okay, so... Um, I'm actually pretty happy with this. This is not, not bad at all. Um, all we're going to do now, I'm just going to help you with rendering as well. Um, make sure you don't use a lot of samples, because that doesn't matter anyways. Because you're going to, uh, in the After Effects or in the Compositor, you're probably going to glow it, or you're going to blur it with glow, uh, something like that, and then the noise will be away anyways. So that that's just, don't, don't use a lot of... Um, uh, samples. Yeah, that, that's just what I wanted to say. <laughs> so if we render this, uh, we get really quick result. And um, it's not like I hoped for, but it's the method I used for um, the other one. Uh, how can you make this one uh, even better? Well, um, that would take a lot of time, but you can uh, go to the domain and you can uh, get here, as you can see here, I'm gonna free this page really quickly, this division you can set to 3 or something, and you can set this very high, and but you will, your computer will slow down really easily with that, but we can, we can take a look. Well, it crashed, so that's good. So, but it, <laughs> you can see it as an option. Um, Actually, I'm going to end this episode right here. I hope you learned something. This was a really quick episode, like always, actually. So, uh, um, some news. I'm um, working on some uh, a demo reel uh, because I want to go to the Film Academy. And uh, that takes consumes a lot of time. I'm busy with school. But I'm, I'm going to try to upload something, but it won't be a lot uh, of videos. But that really doesn't matter because I'm just enjoying making some videos. And... Um, yeah, that that's it. That's that concludes for now. I hope to see you the next time and I don't know why when that is though, but anyways, uh, I'll I'll see you next time. Bye.